Welcome back to some more Robert the Bruce. Last time we did the Outlaw King, that took quite a while. But now we're going to go for the freedom of Scotland and the High King of Ireland. By the river, the last of the Moorish armies gathered before us in what might be the last battle against the Emirates of Grenada. The hot summer did not change the tense atmosphere, and there was no sound on the silent battlefield. I rode a war horse on the flank of the army, and I could only watch the scattered mountains in the distance to call my mind. At this time, someone patted to me. Again, I saw James. Such a coincidence, man, I whispered hello. This may be our last meeting and cherish each other, he also responded. Since this may be our last conversation, let's finish your king's story. Well, okay. He lowered his voice even lower. My king finally set his sights on Stirling after reclaiming most of Scotland's territory. Stirling is a peculiar place, once the battleground of Wallace's victory over the British, the last stronghold of the Scottish resistance, and now the last obstacle in our path. Although incompetent, Edward II inherited his father's ambition and belligerence, and he mobilized all the forces he could mobilize to hinder our army's final victory. Whether it was English warriors, Welsh longbowmen, or Norman knights, they were all rallied to the battlefields of the Anglo-Scottish border. At the same time, there was also the famous British General Gilbert de Clare and the third-ranked knight in Europe, Argentan. The total number of the enemy's army is said to be 25,000, and even if this number is exaggerated, the actual strength of the enemy's army is at least half this number. And our team is only more than 6,000 people, of which only a few hundred are knights, which are, most of which are light infantry simply equipped with spears and axes. The strength of the enemy in us is very different. The two sides met in Bannockburn, outside of Starling. Across the, uh, the two armies is a small river. Relying on the large number of people, the British army crossed the river first and prepared to attack the next day. As soon as it was dawn, our team took the lead in walking into their camp, knelt down and prayed, including my master. My master confessed his sins to God, whether it was the betrayal of Wallace, or the murder of John Coleman, or the abandonment of his wife, daughter, sister, brother, or looting of the people of Scotland, he is willing to accept God's questioning and punishment. He only hopes the soldiers can survive this war as much as possible and live until freedom comes. Alright, I guess this is our finale. Uh, okay. Uh, did you see it? The Scots are leading an army to support. You can't take this place. Your Majesty, Edward II indeed led an army to support Sterling. Uh, we can't take Sterling out right. We have to fight the enemy reinforcements under the city. Almighty God, I ask your forgiveness and help. Uh, you can doubly punish me for my crimes, but please bless my soldiers that they will survive the coming battle or at least kill more Englishmen. What are the Scots praying for? I don't know why Edward II has the Scottish voice. For mercy, yes, but from God, uh, not you, my king. These men will conquer or die. Robert the Bruce is praying, can spend gold to get God's blessing or temporarily improve the common effectiveness of his army. Uh, whoa, 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 hold up. Enter 200 to get the infantry trample. 201 to get infantry versus cavalry. 202 for cavalry armor. Archers, one attack in range. Splash radius larger. Okay. Holy crap, that's a lot of HP. Oh, all this stuff has a lot of HP. So, in that context... Whoops. Um, let's do that. And get our extra blast radius, because that'll be useful for the entire scenario. Okay. Go get him!
Go get him! Don't let him go! Oh, there he is. Do I actually win this, guys? I don't actually know if I win this. Argentan, stand up for me against the enemy! Or something. I'm still not entirely sure we win this. In fact, I'm pretty sure we lose it. Did I just not control this properly? It's hard to tell when the numbers look so weird. Because the, the numbers are all enormous, right? But these guys are basically worthless. They do, like, no damage. Okay, we're restarting this. Or maybe I didn't... The infantry trample damage didn't go through because I did it at the same time. Hmm. I wonder if that's the case. Because we kind of got clobbered. Where are these commander dudes? I mean, there's Eddie. There's Gilbert DeClaire. Oh, and where's the the knight dude? Uh, oh, there's Gilles d'Artagnan. Okay. so hard to tell which are the actual enemy dudes. Um, where are... I'm trying to find the relevant... Oh, there goes... It's... Okay. That doesn't seem to have actually done anything. But I think we're winning this time for reasons I can't really explain. Other than maybe I, we just happened to kill the commander dudes. And with all of the Frankish Paladins, still not sure... And do we get to keep these units? I mean, they're absolutely overpowered. Holy cow, that's 20,000 HP. Uh, these British soldiers were beaten... <laughs> You should seize the opportunity to exterminate them. And they went bye-bye. Hey, uh, and retake Ster Sterling and liberate all of Scotland. In addition, we should also bring the war to England, uh, attack Yorkshire and Lancashire, and expect the English to taste uh, of their homeland being invaded. In a victory rush. Okay. Destroy Stirling's castle and allow Scottish allies to capture the city. Destroy the English army. Twelve castles, okay. Oh, did I not mute that? I sneezed. You might have heard that. 
Um, destroy their buildings. Reserve forces make... Uh, okay. Build a wonder and research special technologies. Oh, they're only available to the initial soldiers. Uh, okay. We already saw that. I guess we should go after Sterling first. Uh, without the end of Scotland, the Irish should soon be defeated. Uh, you should help the Irish. Okay. Sterling is to the north. There are the Irish. And the Scottish army. Okay, maybe we should go for the Irish first. If they're about to be defeated. I mean, I assume Ireland is somewhere over this way. Okay, I don't need villagers, I think, just yet. Okay. I have no idea if I'm doing the right thing or not. Unless I'm supposed to... I don't know. Uh, okay. The Irish are still fighting the English invaders and we shouldn't just sit back and watch. While liberating ourselves. Let's do some classic liberating, America style. Uh, except then, you know, we would just uh, replace the English tyrants with our, our own. That'd be doing it true American style. Oh well. Um, wait, how on earth did these guys take damage? Did I siege on a drew myself or something? That sounds like something I would do. It's at least, you know, par for the course for me. Anyway, this looks basically the same as the Ireland we played in one of the previous scenarios. Oh, this could be some juicy siege on your hits. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to be seeing that. Units spazzing out. Or maybe we're supposed to start building up over here? Where's our peasantry? Anyway, I'm sure we can take the, the British out over here. Or English. I guess the Scots are British too. They're just from the northern part of Britain instead of the southern part. Although British always has the connotation of English, which I don't really get, but I'm not British. Wait, what? Um, okay, let's just start by building a town center. Is this all connected to Scotland? Go for some nice CG hits. Uh, and provide regular resources. Awesome. Oh, 
Well, now we have the Irish on our side. Which is, seems pretty helpful. No, 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 no! Crap. But yeah, we'll go ahead and build a wonder as soon as we have the chance. Let's bring these ships around. Okay, can continue with that. Pogo, Pogo. Because we don't have tons of room to build up, is my concern. Oh, I guess they're the Irish. They don't really seem to have much. Well, that's a good place to build a town center. Can add in some fishing. Okay. So, yeah, next task is, I think, to go after Sterling. Oh, yeah, and we don't need houses, which is helpful. For sure. Thank you, Irish. Oh. Why are there all these freaking hills, man? Like, why did there have to be hills everywhere, man? Is that, like, really necessary? Anyway, we can send our transport ships out. I don't think we'll be needing them anymore. Oh, that is bad. Because I can't fight late game navy against Sicilians, which are Normans. hurts because they're just outranging me at every possible turn plus girls okay um i might have made a mistake guys i might have made a mistake I kind of thought I 
was gonna be safe. Or maybe we should have just gone after Sterling first. Let's see. Okay, we at least have some units over here. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna rush up a castle, because they didn't bring any heavy siege. Keep on keeping on. And then we can also invest into stuff like uh, towers uh, to guard the shoreline. I'm pretty sure Celts have heated shot. Yeah, they do. The true test of AoE 2 tech tree knowledge. Does the Civ have heated shot? Go, skirmishers, paladins! Alrighty. Oh, that, that, that ram is, uh, getting wrecked. Oh, that's very fast. I was kind of hoping I had a bit more time. I was really kind of hoping I had a bit more time. Well, um, maybe I can still buy some more time. Some guard towers. Go stronghold. Go stronghold. Yes, go get him. Oh. We can fight this back. Let's get the dock back up. Okay, go, go, World Raiders. Oh, 
It's okay, guys. It's all okay. See, we're doing just fine. We may have, like, no space with which to work, but that's okay. We don't need it. Guys can go over to gold. See, everything is just dandy in life. Always use these guys. Freaking long range jerks. I have no room. It's okay, we're making headway. You know, this is an Ornlu campaign playthrough. We know how to grind out scenarios. You don't even need houses, man. Do need to start thinking about Elite Wood Raider, though. coming in. Come on. And we still even have gold income. It's not like we're hopeless in that regard. Okay, that's not, that's not good. Um, go, go, keep. Oh, no. Go Stronghold! Okay, so I guess we're going to need... Um, some barracks. Which again is kind of difficult given our cert our spatial restrictions. But hey, we've got some keeps. If we could somehow get to Onagers as well, that'd be pretty sick. Eh, even them just running into our stuff is helpful. Uh, 
Slowly adding farm space. Emphasis on slowly. And they're even, our allies are even tributing stone to us, so I mean, how bad can this really be? Okay, I mean, we've got fully upgraded elite Wode Raiders. Also known as Wodey McWode Faces. Okay, we're gonna get Onager. That should be pretty helpful. Oh, look at our allies even chipping in more. We actually are low on wood income right now. I mean, there's still plenty of trees down over here, I guess. I'll be honest, this is not how I imagined the scenario would play out. Oh, I can't really uh, get past those rocks right there. Oh yeah, we're actually out of wood right now. Like, we're over 100 pop right now, guys. What could be so bad? How many fishing ships do we have? 20? Okay, so I can just take our build for account and add 20 to it. Oh, this is why it's so annoying to use onagers versus campaign AI. Still, look at this, guys. We're making headway. And we got more stone we can even take over that way. Just keep on trucking. Oh yeah, a wonder is also something we need to remember. Oh, those aren't even elite huskies, man. Let's grab you. Oh, we also forgot arrow slits. How foolish of us. Yeah, the barracks. I forgot about those. That, I'm fairly confident, blocks everything. Come on, go get him. Stronghold. Oh, 
Also, why do I get the sneaking suspicion that this is going to be another two-parter? H-O? Am I being called a hoe right now? It's just because I am doesn't mean I need to be called it. Or are you? Get some more stone income. I think researching some extra unique techs would be real helpful for us. But look at our population slowly climbing. So you guys, you just gotta be stubborn. Okay, we're out of gold. But wait, we can go over here. We're fine. I mean, I assume this is all just, uh, yeah. Oh, HC. I thought it was Ho. <laughs> I mean, our vill count isn't is not quite yet what I would like it to be, but we are maxed out on military, so I don't think we can complain too much. Don't think I need you. You know what, it's probably going to be our best bet to just trev it up. Anyway, let's build the Rock of Keshel. Which is notably located in Ireland and not Scotland. Wait, that cost less than... A thousand of every resource except food. Kind of feels like it. Yeah, because we don't want to destroy any of the excess production buildings, because I'm pretty sure those are going to go right to our ally. I'm, like, kind of sure. Not really. Okay. Um. Randomly... Okay, we get one of the random infantry boosts. Okay. Extra damage and speed for siege weapons. Pikeman plus 0.8 range. Well, all that stuff is super OP. Okay. 
Get our freedom. Alrighty, and I think with that, guys, that'll be it for the first part of our finale. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, so yeah, next time we'll be finishing up this campaign. See you guys next time.